An Uber passenger killed overnight after someone in a stolen truck slammed into the SUV the victim was riding in. Tonight, that victim's family is speaking out. Welcome to Coin 6 News. I'm Wayne Haverly. The deadly crash happened around midnight in Northeast Portland on 102nd Avenue on the I-84 overpass. Coin 6 Jennifer Dowling is live near the scene now with the details. And Jennifer, you've recently spoken with the victim's brother. I did, and it's such a sad day for his family. I talked with Dustin Ilar. He says it was his brother, Ray, who was killed. We're at the scene of where the accident happened right now. There's a cement median uh, back there on the overpass, and the stolen truck went over that median and crashed into the victim's car head on. His brother came out today to pay his respects. And he also said that it was very sad that Ray was probably trying to stay safe when he was riding in that Uber car when he was hit. And police say the driver of the stolen truck was going 100 miles per hour on Northeast 122nd when he hit the car Ray was in. Investigators say after that head-on crash, the truck's driver was ejected. And the woman who was driving the Uber was seriously hurt. Both of them were rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. But police say Ray was ejected through the front windshield, and he ultimately died from those injuries he sustained in the crash. Ray was uh, a very, uh, very strong brother. He, uh, he was like a father figure, you know, and, uh, you know, he had his own battles with health and, and otherwise, but, you know, he, he was happy with life, you know, and he was happy helping other people, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's most for unfortunate that, you know, he's, uh, He's gone so early. And Dustin brought some sage out to burn as part of a Native American tradition called smudging to the accident scene. Dustin says Ray was 46 years old. He says he still has to make some tough phone calls to family members, and he will begin making arrangements for his brother soon. Now, the crash also sent the Lexus sliding into a Toyota minivan. The young driver in that van also went to the hospital and is expected to recover. Now, police be believe that the driver of that stolen truck was perhaps using drugs or alcohol at the time of the crash. That investigation into that is still ongoing. Back to you, Wayne. Mm, our thoughts with all the families affected by this. Thank you, Jennifer.